This video might go up a day late than I had originally planned. It might go up on the 18th instead of the 17th because hurricane season is upon us here in Houston and holy fuck is it messing with the signal. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to like hear raindrops or shit around because the, my phone is literally a foot away from the roof, the ceiling, so you might be able to hear something. And I've also been kind of sick, but uh, yeah, let's get to it. Gears of War 5 is finally here, and uh, I gotta be honest, um, it's a great game. It's fucking awesome, but the thing that I, I was actually kind of worried slash concerned about was a semi-open world. It's not that bad. Like, I know me saying those words might sound like sacrilege in the gaming world because, uh, I mean, come on. No Gears game has ever been open world and to suddenly change a game from one format to another is not a taboo, but it could go either way. But I think the coalition wasn't stupid. So I think they decided to only make it semi-open like not to make it open world in the the areas or the the parts of the game where you don't really need that much action like for example i'm not gonna get into spoilers there are huge spoilers i really want to talk about but i'm not gonna because i if you haven't played the game i you really should play it and uh i, I know this might sound contradicting or or hypocritical but if you don't have an Xbox, borrow one from someone and play Gears 5. It's fucking awesome. I know it sounds uh, hypocritical because I say I'll never buy a fucking PS4 or borrow one and play a PS4 game. So you might take it with a grain of salt. It's up to you. I even enjoyed somewhat the multiplayer aspect. And we all know how much I fucking hate multiplayer. But I'll get to that in a couple of minutes. Now, the story mode takes place... Uh, it doesn't really say how long, how much time has passed since Gears 4. If I had to guess, maybe a year? Uh, I don't know. Like They haven't declared war, per se, during the swarm. But Marcus, uh, Marcus or, or JD, one of the two, I can't remember. They, he says, we're at war with the swarm. So I don't know whether they are in a war or if it's just like conflicts, you know? If I had to guess, maybe a year. Uh, the first act, I'm not gonna say anything about it because there's a, a like a huge event happens in the first one that I don't want to spoil. But between the first act and the second act, I think six months pass. So all in all, I think it's a year and a half since when when you take over as a Kate. I think it's a year and a half since the fourth game. So yeah, at the first act you play as JD or Dell or Jack, whatever. But and the second act onward, you mainly play, if you're the first player, like player one, you mainly play as Kate. Now, yes, this uh, most of the plot was given away during the trailers that you play as Kay, figuring out her past, uh, finding out how she's uh, tied to the Locust, which I got to admit was actually pretty smart. And, and I'm not gonna, I'm trying my best not to spoil it, but this game, ties in heavily with Gears 2, Gears of War 2. If you played Gears of War 2, which is my favorite Gears of War, you'll understand why this is like really smart. I, I never thought they were gonna touch the subjects they touched in Gears of War 2 ever again, but holy fuck they did. So and that was really clever coalition, uh, Rod Ferguson. Whoever came up with that idea, you're a fucking legend. So yeah, you figure out how she's, uh, involved or or tied to the locust you do the you, you basically it's kind of, i want to say like a redemption arc but she didn't do anything to like condemn herself so i really don't know what to call it but um but yeah there is a there's a lot of that shit going on in like the first half of the game i want to say and this like um the second half is mostly trying to either cope with it or I know it might sound like I don't know what I'm saying but if I say something I'm gonna spoil like a lot of things so I'm trying to choose my words carefully so if it looks like I don't know what I'm saying I'm sorry I'm just trying my best not to spoil anything for you guys I will tell you this though 
there's one change that I did not like in this game. And it, it has like nothing to do with gameplay, or maybe it does, but you have to choose two, one between one or two things. And if you finish the game, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, and you know why I'm so pissed. You have to choose one or two things. That, you, you don't want to choose either one. I'll just leave it at that. Play it, and then when you finally get to that part, come back and watch this video again, and you can understand how I'm feeling right now. But it pissed me off. Oh, and another thing. Carmine is back like OG one of the OG Carmines is <clears throat> It was Anthony from Gears 1 Ben from Gears 2 Clay from Gears 3 Only one that survived is Clay Anthony got fucking sniped um, Ben got like fucking like Acid poured on him or some shit when he got swallowed by the rift worm in Gears 2 And Clay I'm pretty sure y'all know the story that uh in the third Gears of War, Microsoft or Epic Games, one of the two, held a competition for players to actually choose Carmine's fate. You can go to the Microsoft Avatar store and choose a shirt that says Carmine, uh, save Carmine or Carmine must die. And a lot of people wanted Carmine to live, so he lived. And uh, he's back in Gears 5. He sounds the same, though. He... he uh, well, then again, so does everyone else, but they could have, like, moduled the voices to make him sound a little older. But then again, Mark has always sounded old, so... Carmine's back, and this isn't a huge spoiler, but no, he doesn't die. I don't know why. Uh, actually, I do know why, but I'm not gonna say. You're gonna have to find out. The story mode is actually pretty, like, l lore heavy. I don't know how to say like the words exactly, but you learn a lot of shit about a lot of people and things in this game than you normally did in any of the other gears. Yes, with the collectibles you can learn shit, but that's like, that's not really expansive. With this one, you actually kind of do. And um, there's side quests you can take that either um, upgrade Jack, which I'll talk to in a, in, a, in a couple of minutes, which I'll talk about in a couple of minutes, and that you can actually make him better in combat, or you can learn shit about a lot of shit. Now let's get to Jack, because he's not that much to talk about. Jack is actually a playable character in this one. I, I, I didn't get a chance to play with him because I played by myself. Me and Taco tried to, uh, we tried to play the game together, but every time he was working... I, uh, like I was free or when he was free I had to help my mom or something we just couldn't coincide with the same times to play but we still want to play the game me and him are both giant Gears fans and like just a while back I want to say like a year ago we were playing Gears 4 or Gears Ultimate Edition one of the two even though I already finished both games on Insane I just love Gears yeah you can play as uh, Jack uh, in the first, uh, like the first act, he was named Dave, which is like a, it was like a better version of the original Jack, but then the new Jack is a better version of Dave, if you understand what I'm saying. And it actually pays out to get upgrades for him because he does become useful. Um, the AI, like always, isn't reliable, so it's better to play with someone else. Of course, it's nothing compared to how bad Dom was in Gears 1. Holy fuck, was that terrible. But it is somewhat lacking. So if you can play this game with someone else, I suggest you do because it's it, there's this one fucking level that pissed me off. It's not a spoiler, so I, I am going to talk about this. Not in detail because it's not that like detail-orientated, but there's this one... Uh, a Berserker comes back. The original Berserker. It's called the Matriarch. This fucking bitch okay what you had to do was freeze her and shoot her in the back but there's a point where she doesn't fucking run to you she just jumps onto your position and fucking murders you playing that on insane is a fucking nightmare so watch out for that I, I got lucky and finished it but fuck was it a pain in the ass and of course Fucking Dell was just in the background shooting it at his fucking face when he wasn't supposed to instead of shooting it in the back. So, fuck you, Dell. 
And now let's get to the multiplayer aspect. As we all know, I fucking hate multiplayer. I There's always someone better than me, which I fucking hate. And that's probably why I don't play multiplayer. But for the sake of the review, I tried the multiplayer for Gears. I tried all three, Horde, uh, Versus, and Escape. My favorite is Escape. And I'll get to this in a few minutes. Versus, pretty basic. They, they got a lot of... Uh, since I'm not really into multiplayer, I don't know all of the modes that you can play or gears or let alone any shooters. So I just went Team Deathmatch and um, King of the Hill. I don't know what the fuck I was doing in King of the Hill. I was just shooting people and getting shot at. I think I won a match. Like I, but I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in that game or in that mode. But uh, yeah, Team Deathmatch. I got my ass kicked, even though my team won. I feel like a bitch. Uh, horde mode, it's just like any other basic horde mode. Set up defenses, defend them, fuck shit up. That's it. It starts getting real difficult around rank or wave 20. Fuck does it get real difficult. And there's 50. I've never beaten all 50 waves in any Gears game. It's, it's fucking exhilarating, but irritating at the same time and finally escape mode escape mode is pretty it's fucking badass it's it, imagine if you think about um it's like horde except you're the one that's moving and uh i remember playing a multiplayer and i think it was called the ghost where there's limited ammo and uh you you gotta choose your shots carefully if not, you're just going to be knifing everyone all the time. So, yeah, I, I like that. I don't like how it was marketed at E3. Like, they, I don't know if it was marketed overly in the wrong way or if it just wasn't marketed correctly. But um, it, it actually is pretty good. And come on, you get to fucking play as Sarah Connor. The T-800 and Batista and uh, the guys from Reach. I never played Reach, so I don't know their names, but come on. It's pretty fucking awesome. Granted, I did play it on the Ultimate, uh, Game Pass Ultimate, so in order to get... Basically, you had to get the, the Ultimate Edition of the game, and because I have Game Pass Ultimate, for me, it was kind of free, even though I paid for Ultimate months back, but, I mean... It's, you do gotta pay a little more. I mean, what, $20 for a couple of characters? In my opinion, it's not worth it, but if you already have Game Pass Ultimate, might as well get it. So, yeah, it's, it, all in all, it's a really great game. It's a major improvement from Gears 4, and, and I'm not saying Gears 4 is a bad game. It just didn't live up to the expectations that Gears 3 left off, you know? Maybe because it was a long time since Gears 3 and Gears 4, which is three years. Actually, no, no because that was between Gears 2 and Gears 3 was also three years. But then again, it didn't change developers between Gears 2 and Gears 3. So, I don't know, maybe the switch up is... I really don't know, but I like Gears 4, but a lot of people didn't. And hopefully, this... Gears 5 gets a lot more recognition than Gears 4 did because you gotta admit it's a great game. Even if you don't fucking like Xbox, you have to admit it's a good game. I mean, you don't have to, but it, it's a good game. Fans love it, critics love it, and it's almost rare that both fans and critics agree when it comes to games. So that'll be all. And my final verdict for Gears 5... Story mode, I always, story mode and, and online. I'm doing this all the time now because I focus more on story mode than I do online. So, story mode, 9 out of 10. Easy. I was going to say 8 out of 10 because of that fucking matriarch level, but nah. nah it, it's, it's a good gameplay. It just pissed me off. Right? The small things piss me off, but it's a good 9 out of 10. And multiplayer, I didn't have that many issues I still suck. Gameplay wise, it's similar, like eight and seven or eight out of ten. I'm not really big on on multiplayer, but I'm pretty sure you could uh, 
play for a couple of hours if we really wanted to. And that'll be all for this review. If you fuckers like this video, make sure to like, comment, and sub, and uh, stay tuned for the next review, and uh, I'll see you fuckers later.